So today we're going to be talking about All4, which, as the name might suggest, is the on-demand and streaming service from Channel 4. It's completely free to use, as long as you've got an internet connection. The predominant use of All4 is for viewers to catch up on their favourite shows up to 30 days after they've aired on Channel 4. However, if you go rooting around the archives, you can probably find quite a few series that you've loved and lost in the past. All4 also makes a number of shorts, which are only available online, and some spin-off and bonus programmes for particularly well-loved shows. The very funny flat share comedy space marked the arrival as a creative force of Edgar Wright, Simon Pegg and Nick Frost. Anyone foe? Uh, your boyfriend. Anyone important? No. With its zany humour, pop culture references and in-jokes. It ran from 1999 to 2001. Repeated viewing is rewarding viewing. Ah, uh, Sheffield. You're doing a Sheffield? I fell asleep on the tube. The tube doesn't go to Sheffield, Mike. Yeah, I know. I uh, must have changed the King's Cross. One of the finest series of recent years was the This Is England trilogy. John, is now a good time to talk about college? No, it's not my cup of tea. I don't want to go. Spinning off from the 1983 set film, Shane Meadows followed a gang of skinheads through the 80s up until 1990 when rave culture was taking hold. <laughs> Peep Show, with its unique conceit of using point of view camera angles and voicing internal monologues, ran for 12 years, making it Channel 4's longest running ever sitcom. I don't want a hangover, Jeremy. I want to be almost asleep by 11 o'clock. Uh, two yards of ale, please. It's dark, twisted, and endlessly quotable. It followed the constant failures of flatmates Jez and Mark. It also made stars of David Mitchell and Robert Webb. Oh, uh, naughty, you've combined metric and imperial. You, you might get an interdenominational... Uh, so I'm actually a really big fan of All4 because, namely, I actually really enjoy Channel 4's output. You know, I think they do comedy brilliantly, I think they do dramas very well, and their dispatches and unreported world documentary strands are actually excellent. Uh, and plus, they have the archives. That's a really good point, but firstly, I'd say that it's quite difficult to navigate through those archives, and secondly, I get so bombarded by adverts whenever I try to watch anything on All4, it can make me just completely give up on the programme entirely. It's funny to say, I actually find the interface quite easy, so I, I, I've managed to find those sort of archives, but... <laughs> Clearly it's just not idiot-proof, I suppose. <laughs> but the other thing I'd say is that actually, all four isn't installed on all smart TVs like BBC iPlayer is, so you might end up having to get a set-top box or wire up your laptop in order to watch it anyway. Yeah, I take that all on board, but it is completely free and it provides very good content. What more could I want?